Hey guys, this is Tiffany, and I'm reviewing the latest episode of Star Trek Discovery before tomorrow's episode. <laughs> I'm so behind. I apologize. Uh, this episode is called The Butcher's Knife Cares Not for the Lamb's Cry. So, if you've ever had those long episodes, it's always like a... I feel like the, the these episodes so far have kind of been like Confucius says, you know, kind of idea. But there you go. The, the science and the kind of... Uh, I don't know, like the the quotes and just like the sayings that go with the series in any ways is to be expected at this point. So, um, so it shows Michael now with her full outfit again. Of course, she's no longer wearing the gold uh, rank, you know, embellishments. Now she is silver. Uh, she's a science officer, and uh, they put her to work in the the labs. Uh, and around their their uh, their spore kind of you know where they're uh, working on different things with the uh, with the organic propulsion system and uh, she's there to work on it as well so uh, all of a sudden she gets a a delivery and it's kind of difficult to see you know obviously she's you know, rooming with a, a girl that we we kind of get the impression she's not too thrilled about being with because she's super cheerful and kind of awkward. You know, that one you just kind of that's really sweet and lovable. And uh, so Cadet Tilly tells her, "Hey, this is for you," and she, you know, presses it, and it is the last will and testament of uh, the deceased Captain Philippa Georgiou, and inside this case. And obviously she doesn't want to acknowledge it or accept it. So she basically just puts it under her bed and ignores it. And every so often it will like beep if you don't accept it. So it's like it's like that annoying car alarm that goes off inside if you're not wearing your seatbelt. It's essentially the same thing. And so it's like difficult to sleep or to go about your everyday life. Especially if it's in your bedroom because, you know, it's constantly going off like that. So yeah. Fun, fun times there. So, um, again, she, we see, uh, Saru's threat ganglia again, which is very interesting to see as the, uh, the, the prisoners are kind of shuttled away that he's in the cafeteria and they, they come out of, uh, his, like the base of his skull, top of his neck and you know that kind of sense of foreboding or like something's not right i guess because michael is not on that vessel she's actually uh still on the uss discovery so who knows that's it's very interesting though that his threat ganglia would act up like that so um we go, we actually on the deck we see that uh <laughs> that captain Lorca is having his crew run through a simulation of a of a battle with the Klingons and you see these Klingon birds of prey that are battling them and at first I was like oh my gosh what is happening how do we get from you know where we were previously to here like when did they get in the battle but it's, uh, it turns out to be a simulation and a, a very realistic looking one and this is like their I want to say like their third or maybe I don't know uh, but they obviously don't do well and he's you know very upset you know we need to run this again you know not good enough not you know you're not acting quickly enough so you know he's running them through the paces pretty much so um, we get to finally see the spore, like, hub drive, uh, so to speak, and we find out that Captain Lorca, uh, studies weapons, and all the deadliest weapons in the galaxy are in, like, this kind of, like, war chamber, um, and he's, we find out that he's, uh, a, a person that likes to study war, so that, I mean, you kind of get that vibe from him anyways, that kind of dark very war-tempered, maybe, uh, war veteran vibe from him. So, um, he's showing Michael these weapons, and he leads her to that cage where the, this creature is, and she sees the, the monster, um, and he asks her to analyze it and weaponize it. So, essentially, you know, study its claws, because these claws 
were strong enough to rip through these Klingon soldiers in full battle armament and full um, just like garb so and rip through and, and kill them obviously with just one creature um, so taking down an entire ship so I mean obviously this is something that needs to be studied um, and it's it's also taken out this entire crew of the the ship that his friend was on the uh, let me think it was the USS Glenn and uh, so basically she proceeds to analyze it she doesn't see it as very threatening uh, she starts to see from what she can gather that it seems to act in self-defense more than anything uh, but we it actually goes back to the Klingons finally and we see them uh, we find out that Volk uh, ate Philippa which is kind of disturbing to think about um, and that we learn that they really are kind of not doing so well they they need the process they need a new processing unit and the closest ship to them that has a functioning one ironically is the USS Shinjo and so they you know he part of him doesn't want to go even to the ship to take it because that's where his you know leader was killed that's where you know the, that really rough memory of seeing him cut down in battle remains so it's definitely hard for him to to go there so um, they the USS Discovery receives a request for help and they need to jump now so this they with uh, Michael's help they've determined that this creature is uh, he acts in self-defense and it's obvious that where they thought that this spore hub needed a supercomputer to operate when in reality this creature and the way he reacts he is the supercomputer so they they hook him up and they use him and they jump to this battle um, and Cole, uh, we go back to the Klingons again. They, again, they're talking about that they need to get this processor. It's a dilithium processor. So um, you see, of course, Voke go with this female Klingon that he obviously likes uh, to the Shinjo to get this uh, dilithium processor. So. And back again, it's like, I don't, the kind of back and forth, sometimes it's like, okay, what's, why is, why are we doing this? But, you know, there you go, that's Star Trek. But um, they jump, and they almost jump into a sun the first time um, with just trying to run it without the creature. Um, and the, uh, Michael's colleague basically wants to let it out of its cage and carve it up like a like a lab experiment to to weaponize it like Captain Lorca has you know demanded so uh, the creature ends up killing her the the colleague and the you know Klingons finally get the processor uh, <laughs> the creature that has now been nicknamed the Ripper um, you know, he has this, you know, symbiosis with the mushroom spores. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. The, so after they finally use him in, in the right way, I guess you could say, or the wrong way, whatever you prefer to think of it, um, they are able to appear and in such a way that they kill the Klingon ships that are causing damage and are trying to kill this planet. And, uh, it, it, is hard for Michael because she she sees it happen but more than that she sees the creature being used and it's like these spikes go into it like its skin and pierce it and hurt it where he's obviously in pain and uncomfortable and feels like he's being hurt and used in a way yes it makes them be able to appear and disappear in an instant which is what this creature was obviously used for but at the same time you know it's it's difficult to to watch and be a part of so uh she finally takes the advice of her roommate and you know is ready to confront her past that's been looming over her she opens 
the last will and testament of uh, the deceased Captain Philippa and finds out that she has left her a telescope. So I'm, I'm curious to see what she does with it or how it kind of impacts her as a, a person moving forward and her, um, you know, her, again, this is obviously something of great import and something that is very cherished. So uh, very interesting to see that. In the preview of the nep next episode, we see Lorca is being, is captured and being tortured. Um, and it, like, it, it looks very, very, I don't know if it's a flashback or if it's current uh, times that he's being tortured or maybe that's why he's so dark. But obviously this is going to give us a chance to kind of, I mean, we've really kind of seen Michael a lot more than we've seen Captain Lorca so far. So I feel like we do need a, more focus on him as a captain to kind of get that feel for him and how, like, we got a feel of Captain Philippa very quickly. Um, just her, like her, her nature and her, like, thoughts during battle. Uh, she wants to kind of talk it out, obviously. So we, we, rather than just, you know, shoot first, ask questions later, but uh, we don't really know Captain Lorca's kind of approach and how he, uh, we know he studies weapons, we know he studies war, but what is his kind of thought process in that? So uh, maybe we'll find out, especially how he uh, reacts to torture and, you know, be, being like, you know, asked for information and, you know, uh, maybe his crew in danger. We'll see how he uh, takes that. So, but yeah. Uh, that was The Butcher's Knife Cares Not for the Lamb's Cry, um, which I, I'm guessing is a, in reference to this creature that's being kind of, is being used, I mean, for lack of a better word, to uh, work and c control this organic propulsion system that they have now. So, but yeah, uh, obviously it's, for me, it's gotten more intriguing. I definitely want to watch more and uh, see what happens. So uh, we will be continuing to review the uh, episodes of Star Trek Discovery. Uh, we'll be reviewing the Orville, uh, the latest volume of Ruby that has just been released. Uh, we will be reviewing Stranger Things 2 when it comes out as well as The Walking Dead when it starts back up. We've already reviewed Game of Thrones and we will continue to do so once it comes back out again uh, prob next year. Um, and obviously other new shows, as well as we've got unboxings of Loot Crate and Loot Anime, uh, Scotch Box Japanese Snacks, Owl Crate, I've got the Fandom Favorite Bots coming, as well as the Anime Bento, so keep an eye out for that. We've got a Destiny 2 giveaway going on right now, so if you haven't already, make sure you check out that video if you're interested in winning your own copy, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, because that's one of the things you can do to win and uh, make sure to also like us on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash the nerdettes and that's that's it for this review I hope you guys enjoy and hope to see you back later bye bye